Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, in this video uh, I'll be giving you an overview of the uh, introduction to biotechnology the uh, different types of biotechnologies and applications of these uh, different kinds of the uh, biotechnologies now uh, when you talk about the uh, definition of the biotechnology uh, it comes in a variety of ways uh, for example, uh, biotechnology is defined by the uh, American Chemical Society as the application of biological organisms, the biological systems or processes uh, by various industries to learn about the science of life. And once uh, they have learned about this science of life, they will be using this information for the improvement of values of materials and organisms, such as pharmaceuticals, the crops and the livestock, which can be used for the benefit of the mankind. You can also define biotechnology as the uh, exploitation of the biological processes. And when you talk about the biological processes, you can use the whole organism or you can use part of the organism like the enzymes. So the exploitation of biological processes for industrial and other purposes, especially the uh, genetic manipulation of uh, microorganisms for the production of antibiotics and hormones. This is also known as biotechnology because you are using the uh, biological system for the benefit of mankind and producing useful products for them like the antibiotics and the hormones. You can also define the biotechnology as the use of biology to solve problems and make useful products because most of the time you have to use these organisms to produce such uh, products which can be beneficial for the mankind for which you cannot use the uh, humans as a source. So the most prominent area of biotechnology that would be the production of the therapeutic proteins and other drugs through uh, genetic engineering. So if you sum up all of these uh, definitions of the biotechnology, it simply means that the use of the living organisms or parts of the living organism for the production of beneficial products for the mankind, you can call that as the biotechnology. Now this uh, biotechnology that have got a uh, different subfields and uh, one of the uh, important subfield that is known is the bioinformatics. Now this uh, bioinformatics, it is actually a combination of the uh, biology and the informatics. So the bioinformatics is a branch of biology and that is also a subtype of biotechnology that develop methods and software tools like the algorithm and the databases and these algorithm and databases that will help you understand and effectively use biological data. Now, this uh, it, it involves the storage because a lot of data is generated uh, these days. So you have uh, you have the means you have to have the means to store this particular data. You have to analyze this large data that you have stored in your database. You have to distribute them and you have to retrieve this biological information so, you, so that uh, you can make some something good out of it. So the bioinformatics is actually helping you in all of these stuff that is going to help you the uh, in the storage, in the analysis, the distribution and retrieving of the biological information that has been generated in this era of technology. Now the term bioinformatics that was coined by uh, Pauline Hogwig and Ben Hesper to describe the study of informatic processes in the uh, biotic systems. Now, when you talk about the uh, definition of the bioinformatics, now the NIH that uh, defines the bioinformatics as research, development, and application of computational tools and approaches for expanding the use of biological, medical, behavior, and health data including the means to acquire, store, organize, archive, analyze, or visualize such data. If you put this uh, definition into simple terms, this means that the uh, flood of the information that has been generated in uh, the 21st century, you need systems to properly store them, to properly analyze them, and to properly distribute and retrieve that particular information for the, useful of, for the usefulness of the mankind. 
Now this uh, bioinformatics is also sometimes referred to as the computational biology because you are having this uh, computer science part and you have got this biological part. So the bioinformatics and the computational biology terms, they are sometimes used interchangeably. And uh, you can also uh, define this computational biology as conceptualizing biology in terms of molecules. So you are understanding them at their basis and then applying the informatic techniques to understand and organize the information associated with these molecules on a large scale. So you are first understanding them on the molecular level, then you are combining the uh, patches of information to give you the bigger picture of the biological systems. Now, when you talk about the importance of the uh, bioinformatics, it plays a very key roles in the functional genomics, the structural genomics and proteomics and these omics they are very important field in the current era because they help you uh, understand the things in totality uh, for example if you talk about the proteomics so you can actually study a subset of a protein in totality so in the end you will be having a very good idea how these proteins work combinedly in a biological systems and this is not possible because uh, bef uh, this is not possible uh, without the without the information of the uh, computer so proteomics uh, the bioinformatics is playing a very crucial role in understanding this proteomics and it also applies to the functional genomics and the uh, structural genomics and the bioinformatics that is also a very key component in the uh, pharmaceutical sector as well now this uh, bioinformatics, it is a very uh, highly uh, interdisciplinary material. Uh, if you can see over here, uh, if you are studying the uh, bioinformatics, you need the efforts of statisticians, uh, you need a biochemist, you need engineers, you need a biophysicist, you need uh, individuals from the computer science, you need biologists, mathematicians, and you need individuals from the uh, chemistry. Uh, what this means is that the uh, bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field and all of these uh, scientists they have to make their uh, input uh, to make this uh, field of the bioinformatics a successful field now and to talk about the uh, applications of the bioinformatics uh, first and the more, uh, foremost important application of the uh, bioinformatics is the sequence analysis uh, you can um, analyze the sequences of the DNA and the RNA and the proteins and these are actually the uh, major macromolecule present in the living organisms. Uh, the bioinformatics can also be very helpful in the uh, production of the protein structures uh, from the amino acid sequence while keeping in mind various factors such as the hydrogen bonding, the shape, the polarity, the hydrophobicity and more and the production of the protein structure that becomes very important when you talk about a protein that is involved in disease and you are involved in the designing of the drug. Uh, the bioinformatics can also help you in the genome annotation uh, which is actually uh, helps you in the identification of gene location along with other coding regions on the genome and determining what these genes do. Another important application of the bioinformatics is the uh, comparative genomics and uh, what this comparative genomics means that you are actually uh, matching the genomes of uh, different species uh, which can help you in study the function of the genes the mode of inheritance and species evaluation. Uh, if I give you a very important example in the comparative genomics that when you compare the genome of the yeast to that of the human beings, so uh, uh, most of the genes of the cell cycle that are found in the human beings are also found in the yeast cells. So you can actually use the yeast cell as a model organism to understand the function of those particular human genes, their mode of inheritance and the species evaluation. The bioinformatics, as I've told you, it is also very important in the drug discovery and uh, that could be used to understand better the mechanism of the diseases, such as identifying the responsible gene sequence, the protein that is responsible for, the, uh, for that particular disease and how the drugs that can interact with those particular proteins and genes so that you can neutralize the negative effect of those particular proteins and genes. Uh, another important um, sub, another important application of the bioinformatics is the pharmacogenomics, uh, which is also which is very important in the uh, validation of the new drug targets and to tailor the medicines to the uh, to the patients. 
uh, that they can act on uh, disease origin uh, rather than on the symptoms and perhaps uh, could we develop drugs with even better therapeutic properties than the existing one because you'll be uh, prescribing the disease based on the genome of the genome of that particular uh, patient and not on the uh, uh, traditional drugs that are used uh, these days so we will continue the uh, discussion in the next video and we will talk about the other fields of the uh, biotechnology in detail so if you like the video please uh, subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share it with your friends